first step here is to make sure that your camera is selected. So now we can just go down to this green icon for camera here and we can check this box for background images. Let's just click on add image and now we can change this from image to a movie clip. And here we can just go open and locate a folder with a movie file and I'm just going to use my little man cave here and bring it into Blender. And now you can see that we have a movie file here, but we don't see it in the camera view. And the reason for that is because we need to make this world into a transparent background. So let's just go to render properties and go down to film and check this box for transparency. And there we go. Okay, so I'm going to show you an extra really cool tip here. And that is how you can take um, the color of any 3D object and make it blend better into this uh, movie file here. So if I just go into the shader editor and now if I click on this values, so you're probably having a color ramp in your node setup. So then you can just click here and then just go to the eyedropper tool. And now you can just select somewhere around in this scene. So I'm just going to go with the beach here. And now you can see that my rock is turning brown. And from here, I can play around with this value like that to make it fit even better. And you might have to experiment a little bit with um, the colors here. And um, you can also go into the world and do the exact same thing. So just click the eyedropper tool and then just click somewhere in your movie file. And then we can bring up the strength as well. You want this to be a little bit more brown, but you get the point. So um, this is just a really effective way to make the object blend better into the movie file. And if you're wondering about this shadow here, I have a tutorial on that. And also if you want to make a rock like this, I also have a tutorial on that as well. So just go and check them out at my site. And uh, yeah, I think that is it. Have a great day and uh, peace out.